Hello everyone, today is July 17th, 2017. Just wanted to draw attention to this website, smartmeterguard.com. They sell smart meter guards. I bought one today, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm hopeful that it will. And I um, just wanted to share this website with you and um, kind of give you some information about it. It says the smart meter guard is the newest and most effective way to block EMF radiation exposure from smart meters. Using the proven Faraday cage technology, the smart meter guard is the first smart meter protection shield that blocks 98% to 99% of the EMF electromagnetic field emitting from smart meters safely, is affordable, and installs in seconds. This is the only product in the market that shows real-time video data blocking EMF before and after installation of the smart meter guard. The smart meter guard blocks the EMF emitting from your meter both inside and outside the house with no extra shielding or grounded needing needed on the inside of the house. The smart meter guard has been successfully installed on and blocking EMF exposure from smart meters for over three years on thousands of smart meters across the US and Canada. The smart meter guard will last 10 to 15 years if not longer unlike the cheaper products on the market that don't last long. And you can scroll down to see the benefits again. There's a video here demonstrating the EMF being blocked. Um, there is another video here uh, showing that it's being blocked inside and outside the house. And it is made in the United States and that it fits on most, um, most smart meters. Now it was $129.95, $140 something dollars with shipping, which I know is expensive and many people probably can't afford that. Um, it is an investment in your health and I understand that it's costly um, and um, I'm gonna make a follow-up video just to see I don't I don't know just to see if I feel a lot better um, I'd like to have one of these little um, EMF readers that tests um, what's actually you know being um, emitted from these but here's a, a short video about it Get some wine one night. <laughs> um, but it's kind of a problem solution. And uh, I kept reading about and going to city council meetings where people complain about the radiation uh, from smart meters. And I heard a lot of people complain about it. And I heard a lot of people say they have bad health effects from it. And I come from an electronics, electrical background working in RF. And, um, and I understand how that works. And I said, well, geez, if people are complaining about it, why not just shield it with something that blocks that wavelength of uh, radiation? Um, and it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. And so we, we went through a few iterations of design and developed this to block that and solve a problem with people that didn't want to be radiated. Okay, now let's try that. So that's 30, 40,000, 50,000. Let's put this on and we'll get the shield. Take it off. So that's like 25,000, 26, 30,000, 28,000, 26, 27,000. Basically what it does is that um, this wire mesh stainless steel shield contains the microwave radiation that comes out of there. The wavelength can't get through this grounded metal shield and so it basically contains it within there. You can see that one or two percent leaks out um, but that's fairly normal. Um, but it's just the, 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 the um, the microwave radiation can't penetrate that shield. It's but that one or two percent allows the meter to communicate with the receiver on the telephone pole somewhere, so pt and is not going to come tear this off your meter until you can't use it. You can 
maximum 50,000, 55, 48,000. Pretty constant now. So let's go ahead and put this on. So here you can see this is my energy usage by day. And this is what the smart meter on. So this is September 23rd. You can go back a day, you can go back a month. And that's what the shield on. And this is what the shield on. It's reading the data. Right. The shield's been on for what, four months? Five months? Five months. Five months. Since people don't like the radiation, the utilities companies have come up with a solution of opt out. You pay $75 and $10 a month, and they will put the old analog meter in. The problem with that is that you're putting cash out. You're putting $75 out, $10 a month, that's $120 a year plus $75 that you put out. So over about five years, you put in over $600, which is expensive. It's an ongoing cost. With this, it's a one-time cost of just a little over $100. You can put it on, protect yourself, and then if you ever move, you just simply take it off and bring it with you if you like. And the other thing that we wanted to do is make something that was extremely easy, simple. Um, if you go online on YouTube, you see a lot of home solutions. You can go to the store, buy, mash, duct tape stuff on. But there's a lot of people that aren't able to do that. And the litmus test that I use is my mother. So if my mother can put this on um, and uh, without any problems, without tools, without assembly, then it's a solution. So what we tried to do is have something that is extremely simple, easy, put on and blocks it. So you're not duct taping, you don't go to the hardware store, try and cut out screen or duct tape aluminum foil, it's just simple. My mom could do it. You go like this. And it blocks it. We don't know if some of the other solutions work or not because we've never tested them, but we do know some of them require drilling into the meter itself, which doesn't seem to be a smart thing to do. Some of them are, we believe, a lead-based paint that you put on the interior wall of the house and then put your normal house paint on top of. Um, there seem to be a lot, one of them is a plug-in into your outlet in the house and we don't have a clue how that one works. But we know this one works. Yeah. And it's it, it's a simple a simple concept. So um, you can see that this meter's radiating. Um, we've developed this shield to block the radiation. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about it, we have a website. It's called smartmeterguard.com. So this is a little guard, and you can visit the website and find out a little bit more about it. And uh, go from there. All right, so there you have it. Um, I bought one. I'm going to see how it works. I'll link below to the website and the YouTube videos. Um, and um, I'll see how I feel. I hope everyone's having a great day.